What if something vast, mysterious, and not of our solar system suddenly came barreling into our cosmic neighborhood? Would we recognize it for what it truly is? A visitor from the deep void? Or would we scramble to fit it into old categories that no longer apply? These are not idle questions for science fiction. They are pressing realities because right now, as you watch this, an enormous interstellar object is hurtling through our solar system, unlike anything we have ever recorded before. Astronomers have designated it 3i slash Atlas, a name that already hints at its uniqueness, the third confirmed interstellar visitor detected passing through our system. But unlike its predecessors, Oumuamua in 2017 and Borisov in 2019, Atlas is no small pebble lost in the cosmic tide. It is colossal, strange, and already forcing scientists to rethink what they thought they knew about comets, interstellar bodies, and even the electromagnetic skeleton of the solar system itself. At this moment, Atlas is racing inward at around 58 kilometers per second, already faster than the innermost planet, Mercury, as it orbits closest to the Sun. By the time it reaches its closest pass to our star, its perihelion, on October 29, 2025, its speed will spike to nearly 68 kilometers per second. Imagine something bigger than many small moons, wrapped in a shimmering cloud of gas and plasma, carving across the solar system on a retrograde orbit. It is as if an intruder has been dropped into the delicate geometry of our cosmic neighborhood moving against the flow of the planets themselves. What makes this encounter more breathtaking is the sheer scale of Atlas. Its core, the solid nucleus at the heart of the hazy envelope, is estimated to be 46 to 50 kilometers wide. That alone would classify it among the largest cometary nuclei ever observed. But around it billows a coma of dust, gas, and plasma that stretches 700,000 kilometers across. To place that into perspective, this envelope is half the diameter of the sun. Even its smaller optical coma, glowing in reflected sunlight, is 25,000 kilometers across, about two times the diameter of Earth. Atlas is not just big, it is gargantuan, a temporary giant that dwarfs nearly every planetary body except the gas giants themselves. And yet, the spectacle is not just in its size, Atlas is alive with energy. Its coma is dominated not by water vapor, as most comets are, but by an unusual surge of carbon dioxide. Near-infrared observations, especially from the James Webb Space Telescope and the Spherix mission, reveal a strange chemistry at play. Water is present, but in meager amounts compared to the tremendous spike in carbon dioxide emissions. The ratio is unlike anything astronomers have cataloged before and it hints that this body may have formed under conditions far removed from our own. Consider this. Most comets we know have spent their lives in the Kuiper Belt or Oort Cloud, preserved in the freezer of the outer solar system until nudged sunward. Their chemistry reflects the familiar cold storage of our own neighborhood. But Atlas was born elsewhere, perhaps in another star system, perhaps in a region of the galaxy bombarded by cosmic rays for eons before drifting into our domain. It carries with it a chemical fingerprint from across the stars. That fingerprint is already defying the models we use to explain how comets form, sublimate, and evolve. The electromagnetic behavior of Atlas may be even stranger than its chemistry. Its coma is not merely a fog of neutral gases and dust. It is a complex, dusty plasma, a state of matter that makes up 99% of the universe but remains poorly understood here on Earth. Plasma, the so-called fourth state of matter, is created when atoms are ionized and electrons are stripped away, leaving behind charged particles that interact dramatically with magnetic and electric fields. In Atlas, these plasma processes are not subtle, they dominate. The result is that this object is not just a frozen mass sublimating quietly under the sun's heat, but an electrically active, magnetically responsive, and constantly evolving system. 
Experiments here on Earth have shown that plasmas infused with CO2 can do remarkable things. They can spontaneously generate dust grains, form crystalline structures, and even synthesize nanoparticles of diamond and graphite. Imagine that happening not in a laboratory chamber, but on a titanic scale, surrounding a 50-kilometer-wide interstellar nucleus. In Atlas, nature may be constructing exotic materials in real time, diamonds and carbon grains flashing into existence within its electrified envelope. An atlas is not traveling in some harmless orbit far above or below the planet's pathways. Its orbit slices almost exactly through the ecliptic plane, the flat disk where nearly all the planets move. Its inclination is a mere five degrees off. This means it is embedded in the same solar wind currents, the same electromagnetic sheet that links the Sun to all of its planetary children. Atlas is not a distant curiosity. It is a direct participant in the living circuit of the solar system. Already, this interaction is bearing fruit. On August 21, 2025, the Sun unleashed a massive explosion on its far side, a coronal mass ejection, CME, traveling faster than 1,000 kilometers per second. Earth was spared the worst of it, receiving only a mild proton storm. But Atlas, positioned on the other side, was bathed in a flood of high-energy particles. Its coma, already immense, likely swelled further as a result, its plasma fraction boosted by the sudden influx of charged radiation. What new transformations this triggered in its dusty plasma shroud remain to be seen. But for the first time in history, scientists are observing how an interstellar object interacts with the pulsing storms of our sun. The scale of this event invites a more curious line of questioning. What unseen consequences might ripple from this encounter? Could Atlas, by moving through the heliospheric current sheet, act as a temporary conductor, influencing solar activity or even planetary environments? When Oumuamua passed perihelion in 2017, the Sun unleashed double-digit X-class flares, and Earth experienced its strongest earthquake of that year, a magnitude 8.2 in Mexico. Was that a coincidence? Perhaps. Yet now, with Atlas, we are dealing with something vastly larger, more embedded, and longer-lasting. To think of this object only as a frozen comet misses the bigger mystery. Atlas is a visitor from afar, carrying in its plasma cloud the signatures of interstellar history. It is already challenging the boundaries of what science thought it understood about comets, plasmas, and cosmic chemistry. And over the next year, as it sweeps through the inner solar system, it will interact with Mars, align with Earth and the Sun, skim close to Jupiter, and radiate electromagnetic activity on a scale we have never before witnessed. If it is simply a natural wanderer, it will still rewrite textbooks. If it is something else, a type of cosmic body we have never classified, a harbinger of new physics, it could change our understanding of the universe. And then there is the question that lingers at the edges of speculation. If the universe is alive with plasma, with ordered structures, with flows of energy and consciousness entangled in the quantum field, then what exactly are we welcoming into our neighborhood? Is Atlas just rock and ice? Or is it something stranger, a carrier of information, perhaps even of a kind of cosmic awareness? What happens in October, when it makes its closest brush with the sun, could answer some of these questions? Or only deepen the mystery further? When the human mind grapples with the vastness of the universe, it often defaults to categories to labels that make the incomprehensible seem orderly. A comet, a star, a planet, a dust cloud, these labels help us place phenomena into tidy boxes. But what happens when something defies every familiar box? When the labels fracture and we are left staring at an object that feels more like a puzzle than a discovery? That is the reality of Atlas, the interstellar colossus now drifting closer with each passing day. For centuries, comets were viewed with fear. Ancient civilizations looked at their glowing tails as omens of disaster. Only in recent centuries did science strip away the superstition and reveal them as icy relics of solar system formation. 
But Atlas is not one of our relics. It is an immigrant, a vagabond from a distant stellar nursery, perhaps even from a region scarred by supernovae or swept by the galactic tide. The fear of the ancients, though misplaced, contained a seed of truth. Comets are not passive ornaments in the sky. They interact, they disturb, they release energies we are only beginning to appreciate. Already, Atlas has begun to demonstrate its peculiar influence. Astronomers using high-resolution spectroscopy noted surges in its coma that did not align neatly with its heliocentric distance. Outbursts, sudden flares of brightness, erupted unpredictably. Some coincided with solar wind enhancements, as if the comet's plasma environment was acting like an antenna for space weather, amplifying the solar signal. Imagine, for a moment, a body more than 50 kilometers across, carrying a coma nearly the size of the sun, wired into the electromagnetic heartbeat of the heliosphere. That is not just a comet. It is an active participant in the solar circuit. Plasma physicists often describe cosmic plasmas as self-organizing systems. They form filaments, double layers, and structures that defy randomness. When probes flew by comets Halley and 67P Trimov Gerasimenko, they recorded electric currents and magnetic fluctuations that revealed ordered behavior in what should have been chaos. Now amplify that scale by orders of magnitude, and you begin to glimpse what Atlas represents. Its plasma sheath is not just a passive halo. It is a laboratory in motion, sculpting patterns that could teach us about how galaxies, stars, and perhaps even consciousness itself emerge from plasma's dance. Some theorists go further, suggesting that dusty plasmas can encode memory. Charged dust grains align, rearrange, and settle into quasi-crystalline formations. Could Atlas be carrying not only matter from another system, but also ordered information, patterns etched into its plasma through interactions across millions of years of interstellar travel. The idea may sound far-fetched, but it was once equally far-fetched to imagine that rocks could carry amino acids or that ice could preserve prebiotic chemistry for billions of years. We now know those are facts. Atlas may force us to widen our definition of what constitutes a messenger from the stars. Consider again its orbit. Retrograde, slicing through the ecliptic at five degrees, embedded in the same plane as Earth, Mars, Jupiter, and the rest. Most interstellar visitors we have detected skim in at steeper inclinations, quickly cutting across the solar system before vanishing into the dark. But Atlas is not rushing past like a tourist. Its path keeps it entangled with the sun and the planets for months, long enough for a continuous electromagnetic exchange. This gives scientists a rare opportunity to monitor not just a fleeting flyby, but an evolving relationship. Some already call it a cosmic experiment set up by nature itself. On November 2nd, 2025, this geometry is striking. It means the comet's plasma sheath freshly supercharged by its perihelion heating, could form a direct conduit between the solar wind and Earth's magnetosphere. If auroras intensify beyond expected levels, if geomagnetic storms arise without a corresponding solar eruption, scientists will be forced to reconsider the possibility that objects like Atlas can act as amplifiers or modulators of solar energy. Skeptics argue that comets are too diffuse, too insubstantial, to channel significant energy across astronomical distances. But plasma physics has repeatedly shown that filaments can carry currents across light years, that double layers can maintain potential differences, like cosmic batteries. Atlas is, in essence, a moving, breathing plasma node inserted directly into the solar system's current sheet. To dismiss its potential role outright would be to ignore the lessons of both observation and laboratory replication. Yet, even if we strip away the more speculative layers, 
The tangible, measurable facts are enough to astonish. The carbon dioxide output of Atlas is staggering. At peak activity, it may release more than 10,000 tons per second of CO2. That is not a typo. Every second, the comet vents the equivalent of Earth's industrial emissions compressed into one breath. This alone reshapes its coma, drives shockwaves into the solar wind, and leaves behind a trail of molecular gas that planets may drift through in the coming months. The chemistry of the inner solar system is, in a very real sense, being rewritten by this interstellar migrant. If the trail of Atlas intersects with Earth's orbit in the coming years, the result could be a meteor shower unlike any in recorded history. The particles shed from its plasma cloud are larger than average and their velocity higher due to its retrograde orbit. Instead of the soft streaks of the Perseids or Leonids, we could witness fireballs searing the night sky, fragments burning brighter than Venus. Already astronomers are modeling possible intersections, and while no immediate catastrophic risk is posed, the aesthetic spectacle could rival any natural light show humanity has ever seen. Beyond spectacle lies the question of influence. When Borisov passed in 2019, it shed a tail enriched in cyanide and carbon monoxide, materials that could seed planetary atmospheres if captured. Atlas, with its carbon-heavy profile, carries even richer feedstock. Should even a fraction of its gas interact with planetary magnetospheres or upper atmospheres, it could act as a subtle fertilizer for chemistry we have yet to fully catalog. The panspermia hypothesis, life seeded by cosmic visitors, suddenly feels less speculative when faced with a body like Atlas. And still, there is the haunting strangeness of its timing. Atlas arrives during a solar maximum, when the sun's magnetic field is at its most chaotic, when coronal mass ejections and solar flares erupt with unpredictable intensity. Some researchers note this coincidence and wonder, is it mere chance? Or do objects like Atlas, through their interaction with heliospheric currents, help trigger or shape solar cycles?